away, take it away. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. So I'm here at the mall. I had to return those shoes at Nordstrom Rack. So the mall is like right down the street from Nordstrom Rack. So why not? I just bought some shoes from Neiman Marcus. My mother's in town. She's actually at, um, hold on. She's actually out there at Chick-fil-A uh, getting her something to eat. But, you know, Detroit is about to have a huge snowstorm. So she called me last night uh, while she was at the grocery store saying that she was stocking up on food because they was about to get a snowstorm. I didn't even know. So I was like, why don't you come here? <laughs> I'll pay for your ticket, just come here. I don't want her in a, to be stuck in the house during a snowstorm. You know, it's just her. So I don't want her to be trying to stock up on food and mm -mm. she don't have to work because the schools are closed. So I was like, just come here. <laughs> you got your Chick-fil-A. What you get? Nuggets? Okay, I'm in Pandora looking at some charms. So I can fill up my bracelet thanks to Michelle. I am going to get this one right here. It's a little travel. Uh, the lighting kind of bad in here so y'all really can't see it. It's a little travel bag. It's pink. It's cute. I'm switching out the trays right now. So I like, already looked at the Disney ones. There's no point. Michelle already hooked me up on, uh, on the Mickey the Mini. So let's see. Uh, uh, we're in the Amazon store. We're in the Amazon store and they got a bunch of Nintendo switches in there. My mama wanted to come in here. That's a good one. This Breville juicer look good. It's four hundred dollars. <laughs> Not look good. <laughs> look, I'm hungry. <laughs> but it looks it looks nice, like fancy. And I know this is a good brand, so I know this is a good. Um, I know the quality is good. And look at this, the high performance planner. Oh my goodness! How much is this? Nineteen ninety nine. One is wrapped. Y'all, I'm about to get this scale. I was gonna get this the last time we was in here. See, it's on, it was 141. I was looking for a new scale because I was gonna get Deja my our old one. So it's on sale for $79. Like, okay, I'm about to get it. I was gonna pay the 141 for it because I went to Amazon and looked at the reviews. Well, of course, everything in here, uh, the reviews is 4.5 or four stars or higher. So. Obviously, it's pretty good, right? Do you have the app? Yes. Okay, it didn't ring up at 79, so he's going to check. It's pretty cool here, because all you had to do was pull up the app, and then you, um, at the top of the Amazon app, it say in-store code. So they scan that, and they verify that you're an Amazon Prime member. You don't have to get out your card or anything, because they automatically have the file, I mean, the credit card on file from, you know, on your Amazon account. So, checking it out now, see. Because then otherwise, I'm like, I don't want it to be. <laughs> Even though I was going to pay the 141 before, but. There we go. Hey. Thank you. You want to pay with the same price? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the lighting in here. Jeez, in these stores. <laughs> so yellow. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. Trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Just 
Deja just pulled up. She don't know my mama Naughty. here. Well, well, well. Look at him. What is this? That you been dying to get. I'm confused why you here. <laughs> she said, I'm confused why you here. Yeah, she's confused. She didn't know I was coming. Why didn't nobody tell me? It was last it minute. Was last minute. When I say I last, last minute. minute. Last night. Last night. Why didn't you tell me last night? Come right here, little mama. It's okay. You got the right sticker on there. <laughs> Sorry, I had to let him know. You had to let him know. <laughs> Look at the inside, Ma. I like this. I just love this color. Dirty, but. Oh, hi. Yeah, buddy. Uh, Yana been getting her since she had her car. Since she got her car now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is nice. From the bus stop, she ain't gotta yep, be on that bus no says, more. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. nice. Oh, I'm tired in the mug. I can't. What shoes are you talking about? Oh. It's so nice out here as far as the temperature. I think it's like 72. Y'all know the last couple of days it been it's been cold. Look at this bum. Can they see him? Which bum? Yeah, Solomon. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> which, which bum? Set <laughs> 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 so y'all right there real quick. So yeah. So I just had on all black today. This uh HM basically. Yeah. Everything's from HM. Just a solid black tee or long sleeve tee from H&M. Rib leggings is from H&M. I don't got on no shoes right now, but I had on um, the Gucci shoes. That's what the purse looks like on. I absolutely love this purse, y'all. This is my favorite purse out of my whole collection. Hey, y'all, so we're at Deja School uh, Senior Parent Night. So uh, Deja, she back there waiting on her boyfriend, not her. <laughs> she back there somewhere. Waiting on her boyfriend. He was pulling up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he just pulled up back there. So yeah, senior parent night tonight, which I thought it was the 11th. I had it wrote down as two, and you know how you put the slash, and I put two slash one, but it, it made it look like it was 211. So I was thinking it was the 11th. I'm sitting up there um, doing orders. And she was like, you going to parent night? I said, it ain't until the 11th. She said, no, John said it's today. I went back and looked at the email and sure enough, it said today. <laughs> and then I'm like, no, I could have swore it said the 11th. So I went to look for the little paper I wrote it down on. And I'm like, oh, that's why I said, thought that. She you know, I'm making a little thing. So just being nosy over here. You making a sign or something? Uh, yeah, for the show that we're doing here. Oh, okay. Just being nosy. Uh oh. Go by the day way. Oh. <laughs> yes, we would have walked them down. Oh yeah, we could have. Yeah. She opened the um. A young lady opened the gate for us, but it's still we're still walking the same way. Let me switch to my phone so it won't be obvious. You know, I don't care. I just don't want to embarrass Deja. Thank you. How you doing? Hello. Going up to the front, Ma. Sit right there on the end. I will tell you that if your child has English on campus, whether it's AP Lit or English 4, the counselors went in, I think in December, for a student that does not pass a required course, okay, or they have less than 18 credits, which is the minimum diploma option, 18 credits, they cannot walk in the graduation ceremony. Most seniors have already taken Algebra 1 Geometry. Okay, so some big dates, important dates. We have prom coming up April 2nd, and I think ticket sales are... It's ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. So Brad Rash is at Universal this year, April thirtieth, and again they pay for their tickets and guidance express or online. Okay. 
Okay, so probably the biggest thing I need you to remember is cap and gown delivery uh, during lunch is April 20th to 21st. But you notice in yellow, the deadline to order online is February 10th. So that's fast approaching if your student has not ordered their, or you have not ordered your student's cap and gown. And stop and think of all the shipping and delivery delays. And Balfour is already telling us that they are concerned about shipping delays. So we are going to try to get them out on the Friday before. And people say, well, why do you sell additional tickets? Because it helps to start paying for graduation for the next year's group over there. Because if we have quite the fee for just the building for two hours cost us over $18,000 just to be there. And we, that's no programs, that's no nothing. That is just the building for those hours. We have security to pay for it and different things. So no, we're not running a money racket by taking your $10 to get grandma in or great grandma. <laughs> it is that we are already putting that back towards the next year's graduation. So it does cost us quite a bit with that. One thing I want to tell you about graduation, guys, is like we have a lot of kids that show up for graduation. No, you can't come to the baby soon. <laughs> no, you can't come to these flip-flops. <laughs> We have a graduation dress that you need to have on under the robe. Some kids are just glad they have on something. <laughs> but we need them to wear those clothes. And if any kid, and I, like I always tell parents, if you need some help with your kid matching up with the rest of the kids, you just got to call me because I intend for every one of my kids to go across the stage and be in the same thing and be dressed appropriately to get across the graduation. And yes, we do require black shoes. Girls need to wear dresses. They can wear slacks if they want. And guys can just wear a collar shirt because it looks really funny when they don't have it on. We're going to require them to start at 9, and kids are probably going to be there by 7 o'clock. And I always tell parents, we always send buses from East Street High School that morning at 6, because you don't want to go over there, because UCF Arena will not let you in before 8 o'clock that morning. Even if you drive your kid over there to be there at 6.30, you're not getting in the arena until 8 o'clock. They will not open the doors till about an hour to 45 minutes before the ceremony starts. So that's why we tell some kids to come here and get on the bus and go on over that morning. And that's completely fine. Usually we have them sign up so that we know how many charter buses to get to make sure the kids get there and get set up for graduation in time. Questions? Can they drive them out? They can, but I've had a lot of kids get accidents. It, it's really kind of dangerous. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, with parents coming over, what's the point of them driving the drive back? Because you're coming in a car, and usually we tell you we'd rather transport them for safety reasons. A lot of kids do, if yes. Um, unless their parents are like saying, okay, I'm going to come at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to go eat breakfast and wait until 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> most parents don't. Most parents see them early. in this parking lot, drop them off, and say, "Get on the bus. We'll be over there." Be on that bus. Call me on that bus. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, the girls always want to wear stilettos that are up this high, and then they end up struggling through to get up top on steps. We've had them tumble off. I shake their hand, they fall off the back of the stage. <laughs> I mean, it has come to that. So I ask them to wear reasonable heels. <laughs> If they're going to wear them, and we're going to be inside their region this year, so it's a lot uh, less on them than the football stadium was before. So, and they wear a dress. You girls just wear a dress up in there. Us full men, long enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know the statement. They usually roll them up there, so and they're shallow. Yeah, they're a little wiggly. So walking in heels and shallow steps. I don't catch nobody. I help you up. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> we went one hour and 58 minutes on them. <laughs> but we usually are done with our ceremony. If we begin at 9, we're usually out by 11. And we have everybody through by then. And what we don't do is, I don't do a lot of talking because I know you can be least interested. Maybe my kid just got done with you. Just give him the diploma and shut up. <laughs> yes, usually they will charge a parking fee. 
I've tried to negotiate for years with them, and some years they'll let us in, other years they'll say, it depends on who's in management, and I know the way everybody's been hurting with COVID money, I'll probably tell you, yeah, you're going to pay a $10 fee. That's why I tell you to load up your cars. Don't come in all these separate cars. Oh, graduation rehearsal, guys. That is the thing that your kid can't miss, no matter what. And it's Monday. So Monday, 16th is graduation rehearsal. And it's that morning, and we usually get them in and get them out within a few hours. And because we're not issuing tickets on that day, it should be done within a couple of hours. I want my kids to have a great time, but I need them to be respectful of everything else and the other kids that have been educated at this school. Our kids have been really, really doing a great job. We still, even through all of that stuff last year, ended up still being one of the top schools in Lake County. They're playing around a lot, but they're working hard. <laughs> I, I got a whole great patch. By the time we get to graduation, probably the whole head will be gone by then. <laughs> by the time I get them all that, I just have to look at them. But please, if you need us, reach out to us. This is our last month that we need to do everything we can to make sure our kids get across the state. So please don't hesitate to call. Like I tell you all the time, if you call me, email me, it may take you 24 hours to get back to you. It is not that I'm sitting in my office twiddling my fingers. I promise you I'm working. So please let us know if you need us. And if you are a parent whose kid is in need of some support and help with getting graduated and coming down, please just give us a call. That's all you got to do is call us up and say, Ms. Lyle, I need your help. That's what we're here for. And we're going to figure out a way where every one of our kids can get across that stage if they choose to. Okay? So if we have no other questions, oh, we got one. Are they going to all for the schools? No, no. Of course I do. You have to. First of all, for just going to school, you have fees for just being a freshman, a junior, and a senior. And then I have to pay a Chromebook fee because I had an itty bitty crack. It's at thirty dollars. So what? And I think I have a library book that I don't know where's that. <laughs> That's like the only one that I have. Library. Y'all, we home, and I didn't stop and grab nothing to eat. No fast food. So um, I'm proud of myself. I'm getting a lot better at that. And this is honestly my first meal of the day. I've been eating on um, this popcorn that I got from Trader Joe's. I made a smoothie this morning, a beet smoothie. I was just throwing stuff in here. I bought this uh, probably a couple weeks ago at Whole Foods. Organic golden milk. It looked healthy, so I grabbed it. It looked like turmeric. Turmeric root powder, mecca root powder, goji berry, cinnamon bark powder, ginger root powder, was that Boswellas gum powder, cardamom seed powder, and organic black pepper fruit powder. Sounds good, right? Sounds healthy. So I say this is a mildly sweet golden milk powder you're looking for. Organic ingredients like turmeric root. Oh, I, do. Oh, I just read all of that. Um, and it said it's grounded into a very fine, fine gluten-free powder, ready to stir in your favorite non-dairy beverage. Even this, this Anthony's um, Anthony's beet juice powder. Y'all know I like beets. You know I have to put my uh, vitamin C powder. I'm so proud of myself. Honestly, I was already full from the um the smoothie and then i had the starbucks drink and that kind of get me full so this is this is my first meal i am warming up some chicken noodle soup that i made a couple days ago some homemade chicken noodle soup was it a couple days ago or just yesterday so oh, this is what it looks like i'm warming it, warming it up for my mama wait let me I said I'm warming it up for my mama. Um, this is all the carrots we had, so <laughs> it's not that much carrots in there. Because Cleveland was like, where the carrots at? Because he loved uh, carrots and the celery. But yeah, that's all the carrots that we had left. So it's still good. This is the leftover taco meat that Deja made a couple days ago. So I'm putting mines on some buttered lettuce. I got four leaves here. 
And then I'm going to just, you know, make it like a taco. I, and I did use this salsa that I got from Trader Joe's. It is so good. So good. This right here, this is really good. So you see it's almost gone because i just been eating it with um, pita chips. Yep. Well, what if the rose is still jacked up Saturday? Okay, I'm just going to eat all of this because, I mean, there's no point of leaving this like some people do in the house. Oh, yeah. Somebody will leave, mm -hmm. put this right in the refrigerator just like this. Yeah, that's about three hours from here. Uh... Yep. Why we don't have no sour cream? So cheese it is. This is what I'm working with. Normally, if I have it on a soft shell or a hard shell, I will stick it back in the microwave or stick it in the microwave so I can melt the cheese, but it's fine. So let me eat this real quick and then we're going to unbox the shoes that I bought today. All right, I'm about to unbox the shoes. You know, I want to keep it real with y'all. I did take back a few shoes today. Remember when I was in Saks off fifth and I picked up those shoes that had the sparkles or whatever. And I was like, oh, they're ugly in person. Well, I took those back. I, I also took back those blue uh, Alexander McQueen slides. Yes, I took those back. First of all, let me say this. I, I got to tone it down when it comes to these luxury purchases <laughs> because I'm not trying to live above my means, even though I feel like I deserve whatever I want. I still need to be smart about it. You know, I kind of dabbled into the luxury game a little bit. I had to realize I need to pipe myself down and really think about my purchases because y'all know how I am. None of us is perfect. I can't be sitting up here just buying and having it sit, not wearing it. Uh-uh, we not doing that. I did take back those Blue Alexander slides because I feel like I wasn't going to wear them a lot because of the color and just felt like I wasn't gonna reach for those as much, even though those were on sale, but still, that was 170 something dollars that can be put to something else that I know I'm gonna really enjoy and I know that I'm gonna wear. Remember I told y'all it was some all black Alexander McQueen slides on sale a couple weeks ago, maybe in last week sometime, and I told y'all I ordered them. Well, I canceled it. I canceled it a couple hours later, or it might have been the next day I canceled it. And I also took back those Louboutin red bottoms flip-flops. And I took those back because once again, I felt like I really wasn't gonna wear them. I'm really a slides girl, and I don't even wear flip-flops. I was debating if I wanted to return them or not. And this, or a couple days, a couple days later, I decided I'm just gonna return them because once again, I know I'm not gonna reach for those and those flip-flops cost way too much to be sitting. Those three shoes was the only ones that I returned today. Plus I canceled the all black Alexander McQueen slides. And I'm keeping my Burberry shoes and my Doshi and Gabbana slides. Moving forward, I'm gonna definitely be smart about my purchases. All right, let's unbox the shoes now. Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Let me tell y'all how I came about getting these shoes. When I went to the mall, I was strictly going there to just return. I was not planning on purchasing anything. When we went in all those other stores, I didn't purchase not a thing. So we went in, what did I get this from? Neiman Marcus. So I'm walking past the shoes. It's like, oh, well, let me try on because I have been eyeing these Doshi and Gabbana shoes, not the ones I tried on in a few vlogs ago. I didn't want to order them online because I didn't know what size. I was going to need in these particular shoes. I couldn't find no reviews on them to see if I need to size up or size down or if they were true to size. Only Doshi and Gabbana website had the all red. Now Neiman Marcus had them, but they were in another color. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go over here and try them on and see what size I need so I can order them on the Doshi and Gabbana's website. Well, when I tried those bad boys on, I felt, first of all, I fell in love with them when I seen them on display, holding them in my hand. Now I seen them online, they were cute and all, but like I said, I was going for the red, all red ones. So I held these and they was, it was like love at first sight. When I first put my feet in them, 
it was the ring them up, throw it in the bag. You know I had to do this. I was like, well, I just returned all of those shoes. And that was probably about $550 worth. So I was like, that $550 can go towards these shoes. And that's just the way I think. Is it right? I don't know, but that's the way I think. So here is the box. Slides out like this. Uh-oh. So I'm gonna get one out because I know y'all anxious like, let me see the shoe. Oh, look at this shoe. Look at it. It is so freaking cute. Like, I can wear these with literally anything. And you can also wear them as like a slide on. Like you can fold this down and wear them, but I probably, I, I know I won't wear them like that. And the shoestring has Doshi and Gabbana on it. It got Doshi and Gabbana on it right there. And then that's what the bottom of the shoe looks like. And I'm not about to try them on right now, but let's believe I will be rocking these mugs a lot. <laughs> like I've been rocking my Gucci shoes a little bit too much. I need to give them a rest because I don't want to, um, you know, mess them up. You know, I don't want to have them sitting, but then again, I don't want to mess them up. The struggle. So it does come with, um, it's only one, yeah, only one dust bag. I got them in a size nine and I would say that they're true to size. I wear between eight and a half and a nine. Probably gonna bring them to Vegas with me. Yes, we did plan a trip. Everything is already booked. Flight booked, hotel booked, me, Cleveland, my sister and her boyfriend, Paul, is gonna be up in Vegas. Stand at the Venetian Hotel. So I'm gonna be with my sister and yeah, I cannot wait. Of course, I'm gonna bring you guys along. All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, wait, wait, before you go, I want to thank each and every one of you guys who purchased from me. Y'all did it again. We sold out, then I restocked again or added more butters to the website butters and turmeric scrub everything else is sold out and won't be coming back probably until march i don't i got a lot going on this month i don't want to be overwhelmed but yeah we sold out and then i added more turmeric scrub and body butter turmeric body butter to the website over the weekend because I got a lot of back in stock requests. You are the ones that have been purchasing for me. You are the ones that have been recommending me to your family and friends. And you are the one that have been leaving me the I love your products messages or emails. And I'm so forever grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. You are the reason why I have the confidence to keep going. You are the reason why Velvety Vibes is Velvety Vibes <laughs> or still Velvety Vibes. And you are also the reason Javlogs is Javlogs. We can't forget about this. You are the reason I'm able to do what I do, buy what I buy, and provide for my family. So thank you.